I had finally washed up on the island. Two things were immediately clear. One, I needed my bigger gun. And two, I was gonna have to fight if I wanted to survive. There were guards posted up at the base of the lighthouse, which is exactly where I was headed. That's when I saw the guy. My mission started off simple. Defuse the nuke. But now, now it was personal. Someone knows who I am. And I bet they know where my brother is too. At this stage of the game, there's nothing I wouldn't do to go home. It was right around then that I had noticed one of the guards had left their position. It must have been his lunch break because he was going right down the stairs. I had no choice but to engage. Two shots. I had 15 left in my mag. And I still had the guards at the lighthouse to deal with. I checked my six. And I started scoping them out. But they already scoped me out. In the distance, someone else got into their own gunfight, which means I had to move quick. I was still shaky from the hit to the head, but I got the job done. The only thing I could think was how many spots there were for me to die from. up to the lighthouse as fast as I could while staying safe. I scoped out the entry to the base and I pushed in. I figured I'd swap out for my close range weapon and thought it might be a good idea to scope out this wasteland. So I started climbing. I could have swore I heard a footstep, but I may have been jumping at shadows. So I just took a second to listen. Seven flights of stairs and my heart beat pounding the entire time. Finally, I had made it to the top. But what happened next took me for a surprise. It sounded like someone just got in the gunfight of their life, but there was no sign of them. I let those shots ring in my head as a reminder of where I came from and where I wanted to go. I knew that that radio tower was my best bet of getting some reconnaissance and getting the hell out of here. I thought I had so much time. By 
the time I started heading down the stairs, something weird was happening. I couldn't shake this feeling like this would be my last steps on Earth. And I knew. If I didn't make it, I knew I had to make it. I knew I had to bury it down and use it as a strength. So I took a second and I collected myself. I rearmed. And I pushed back out. I was reminded of a promise I had made just a couple of months ago. It may seem silly now, with all that's happened. But that promise was a promise to my son. And that's a promise I'm gonna keep. I stationed myself at the base of the mountain where the radio tower was. Not far off from those gunshots. Something told me to proceed with caution. And it's a good thing I did. I just happened to spot him while I was picking a gun off a dead body. But I didn't know if he had friends. I set up a distraction around back. I figured one of the Phoenix could probably fire off his pistol a few times and draw anybody out. And then I set him down. The thing about taking a mountain is it's grueling. It's treacherous and filled with uncertainty. Every misstep could spell disaster. But yet, it reveals our unbreakable spirit. It fuels us. It leads us to triumph against the odds. And as you climb higher, and becomes our ally, strengthening our resolve and unveiling the power within. Allowing us to reach the zenith and reshape the destiny of the world. All of this can stop. You just have to give me the key. That's all. 